Is it time to buy or sell Ford stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Ford. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, June 1, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Boost your experience by joining our YouTube membership. Choose the supporter tier to show your appreciation with a loyalty badge or the trader tier to request video analysis of the company of your choice. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 26, 2023, our system has ranked Ford as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of 0.25. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has experienced natural fluctuations, with a gain of 0.17%. This translates to an average return of 0.04% per day since it was listed as hold slash accumulate. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current 3-month trend suggests a potential minus 4.51% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between minus 15.63% and minus 0.87%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 9.88% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 28.94% and 12.46%. This translates to a price range of $8.61 to $13.62 after a year. Our latest daily update for Ford includes the headline, Ford stock price up 0.92% on Thursday. The Ford stock price gained 0.92% on the last trading day, Thursday, June 1, 2023, rising from $12 to $12.11. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.87% from a day low at $11.84 to a day high of $12.18. The price has risen in 7 of the last 10 days and is up by 5.3% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 18 million shares and in total, 64 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $770.78 million. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $16.68, and the lowest price was $10.61. Currently, the price is 27.4%, or $4.57, below the 52-week high, and 53.19%, or $13.76, below the all-time high on January 13, 2022, when the price reached $25.87. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Wednesday, November 30, 2022, Citigroup set a price target of 14. On Wednesday, November 30, 2022, Citigroup set a price target of 14. On Wednesday, November 30, 2022, Citigroup set a price target of 14. On Wednesday, September 28, 2022, Citigroup set a price target of 13. On Wednesday, September 28, 2022, Citigroup set a price target of 13. Analysts have given Ford stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Ford. The Ford stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock, but the stock has a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $11.89 and $11.89. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, 
and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A cell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, May 30, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 3.81%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 3 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 3 days ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 5 days ago. Long-term moving average, by signal 5 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 27 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 5 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 4 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 33 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Ford Ford finds support from accumulated volume at $12.09 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $0.340 between high and low, or 2.87%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 3.52%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Ford, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the Price to Earnings Ratio, or P.E. Ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A relatively low P.E. ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on July 25, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $0.460. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Ford. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Ford is at $12.68. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Ford encounters its first support level at $12.09. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Ford from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On May 18, 2023, Ford the third Henry conducted an insider buy of 18,470 shares of common stock, one cent par value. On May 18, 2023, English Alexandra Ford conducted an insider buy of 27,061 shares of common stock, one cent par value. On May 17, 2023, Weinberg John S. conducted an insider buy of 34,209 shares of common stock, one cent par value. On May 17, 2023, Weinberg John S. conducted an insider sell of 34,209 shares of Ford stock units. On May 18, 2023, Weinberg John S. conducted an insider buy of 27,061 shares of Ford stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 36.085. Overall, Insiders purchased 5,136,938 shares and sold 2,371,373 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $11.53, minus 4.81%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found two days ago. Is Ford stock a good buy? Ford holds several positive signals, but we still don't find these to be enough for a buy candidate. 
At the current level, it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Friday, June 2nd, we expect Ford to open down $0.0667 and start trading at $12.04. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.